let's make a pH test with red cabbage. Okay, I just got some different items that we had to test the pHs of. You should get creative and see what you have around your house, but don't use bleach. Then get a cutting board, a grater, a glass beaker, some cups, a little pipette, a kettle, a pot or deep pan, and then a sieve and a red cabbage. While you're waiting for the water to boil, cut off a little less than half the red cabbage and grate that up. It takes a while and you got to be careful, but you'll get there. All right, lay that nicely in the pan and then cover that with boiling water. And you're gonna let that steep, stirring occasionally for 30 minutes. It turns to this. And then you are going to pour that through the sieve to get out all that pulp. So you are just left with this lovely purplish liquid. All right, I'm lining these up. I'm gonna make a baking soda solution first. And then I have club soda, vinegar, coffee creamer, Coke, vitamin water, and at the end, regular water. Then I took some mud because I'm curious about the Oklahoma dirt. Let's see how it goes. All right, now let's pour this in. Woo, look at that immediate color change. So cabbages have a type of pigment in them that makes these solutions turn different colors as the pigment reacts to how acidic or basic each solution is. I even added more of the cabbage juice in to make the colors even more vibrant so we can see those differences more. And I had some trouble placing the Oklahoma dirt solution because from some angles it kind of looked green, but when I stirred it up more, I felt ultimately like it belonged on the red end of the spectrum, but let me know what you guys think. So as it goes from greeny to blue to purple to red, that is basic, neutral, and then gradually more acidic solutions. Isn't that cool? Also, I saved the pulp and I'm gonna try and make like some paper. I'll let you know how that goes. I don't know. Um, okay, don't forget to sign up for Mad Science Summer Camps. Bye!